People who love language and a little friendly competition have played the game of Scrabble for generations, but this best-selling board game has a lesser-known history. What actually began in our own backyard. CBS 2's Elle McLogan takes us to Jackson Heights to trace the game's origins. At the Queen's Library in Fresh Meadows, friends Lynn, Pauline, and Mona are gathered for a weekly ritual. I hate to do this to you ladies. Oh, God, you're doing it again. Uh oh. Yeah. Smushed. Smushed. The competition is heating up just a few neighborhoods away from a Scrabble landmark. Early versions of the game were first played right here in the basement of the Community Methodist Church in Jackson Heights. Marking the spot stands a Scrabble style street sign with letters denoting points, just like in the game. Over at the Queen's Historical Society, Executive Director Jason. Antos understands the sign's appeal. Only people who know about the game of Scrabble are going to know immediately what it is. And, and that's why it's, it's my favorite sign, because it's unique. It's an Easter egg, it, in a way. It's an Easter egg, absolutely, yes. A game of strategy requiring spelling skills, a little bit of math, and the luck of the draw, Scrabble has left its mark. But whose is the brain behind the beloved board game? The creator was Alfred Mosher Butts, a Jackson Heights resident who loved puzzles and lived into his 90s. He was very proud of it. Whenever you see photographs of, of him, I mean, he poses proudly with the game. Since Butts first conceptualized the game during the Great Depression more than eight decades ago, its name and rules evolved into a global phenomenon. Played in English from India to Senegal, Scrabble is also sold in more than 30 languages. From a competitive sport to a mind-expanding exercise, the game is a lot of things to a lot of people. Back at the library, there's one reason above all to play Scrabble. Just, it's fun. In Jackson Heights, Queens, L. McLogan, CBS 2 News. That's the truth. Scrabble was once called crisscross words before getting updated, renamed, and mass produced as the game we know and love today. Love that game, right? <laughs> For some people, it can be a bit complicated, but the simple reason, it's fun. Right, right? and competitive. Yeah. You know, it allegations is. of cheating and things like oh, that. Oh, does that happen All in your household? Happens with every game, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you All know the best word in Scrabble? What is the best I, I word in Scrabble? Ox, a oxyphenbutazone is worth 1,778 points. So you're making that up. That's no, not, I'm not that's cheating. That's not even a thing. Oxyphenbutazone is the number one word in Scrabble. And is yeah. that a drug? What is it? Beats me. It's the number one word yeah. in Scrabble. <laughs> Just as we figured. A little shaky. Yeah. All right, Before Mr. We go Scrabble. Over to you